So it's Wednesday afternoon and I'm sitting in the parking lot on my scooter outside the apartment building and I have the news that my caregiver is positive for COVID. So she has been taken away from Monterey, taken uh, to Puebla and by tomorrow night or the next morning a new caregiver will come to me. In the meantime, I can't do anything until they retest me for COVID, which will be on Friday. And they get the results back in two hours for that. And assuming I'm negative, then I start for chemo. So all around, I'm two days behind schedule. Hopefully that is all it is. And uh, trying to find some sunshine. <laughs> the rooftop patio here is not a rooftop patio. It is simply a patio with a cover on it and it's not handicapped accessible so I can't even get out on it because it's got a one foot concrete step down onto it and the um, the sun is not accessible except to look through windows uh, so yeah I'm feeling pretty frustrated and exasperated dealing with constant handicap issues in your daily life and then coming to a place where you deal with handicapped people all day every day who are sick and looking to get better and dealing with more handicapped issues is pretty freaking annoying just to say the least Anyways, I'm not sure what I should do yet as far as my plans go with regard to my return trip, my flight, my friends who are coming down, hopefully to pick me up and bring me back to Canada, their flights, uh, hotel for us upon our return, and then a bunch of other domino effect of plans that are made after that. Um, it's amazing that when you're healthy and you're not disabled you have a little bit of a hiccup in a plan and it can cause a domino effect but when you're not well and you're disabled one hiccup causes a massive domino effect and the house of cards fall down and you're back to square one and um it's uh it's just i know everybody who's in my shoes knows exactly what i'm talking about so I'm just going to smile and leave it at that and get back in the sun.